Also, so at the end of the day, I want him to do what's best for him and his family. He knows that I deeply want him to return and sign the extension, but at the same time, I know he's got a decision that he's got to work through himself and with his family at home because those are the most important people. Now, in efforts to keep Giannis, the Bucks have acquired Drew Holiday and also attempted to bring in Bogdanovich until the deal fell apart. Max, if Milwaukee doesn't make any moves, should Giannis sign the Supermax extension with the Bucks? And Max, I said you first. No, he shouldn't. And I know that's a lot of money to leave on the table, but the way the NBA structures things, no one leaves before six years if they demand a trade or seven years if they leave in free agency because you leave too much money on the table. You want that first mini max deal, which Giannis already had. He made $100 million, so he's going to be fine. I'm not counting anyone's money, but let's be realistic. It's not like the dude hasn't made money yet and isn't in a position where he doesn't have to grab right now because he hasn't come into the big cash, right? That's number one. Number two, yes, they made moves. I love Drew Holiday. Let's take a, a player similar to Giannis, at least in terms of value and size, right? Anthony Davis, who a lot of people might say right now is better than Giannis. I don't know. Anthony Davis, right in his prime, had Drew Holiday, had Miritich, who was hurt but was healthy for the playoffs, had Rondo, had a nice little team around him, did nothing in the playoffs, didn't do anything. And do you know why they didn't do anything? Because if you're a great big, and Giannis can handle the ball, but in the playoffs he plays like a big, right? You need a, a, another dude who's just as good as you but's not a big. Shaq needed Kobe or Dwayne Wade. Kareem needed Magic Johnson or Oscar Robinson. Like, this is the way it works. You need a, a big needs enough. Drew Holiday is an excellent player. Love Drew Holiday. He and Chris Middleton, now you're on to something. You need more. Even had the Bogdanovich trade gone through, I still would have said they're a little light. And the problem, guys, is the owners played Milwaukee and Giannis cheap last year when they let Brogdon walk out the door so they could avoid a steep luxury tax bill because Brogdon, forget about how much value he has on the team, could have been used to make an additional move. You need so much in the NBA to win a championship. LeBron had Kyrie and Kevin Love and was overmatched in the finals because of the super team in Golden State, right? We look at all the excellent teams in the West, and they didn't have anything for the Lakers because the Lakers had LeBron and AD. Where is the other superstar on the Bucks? Let me tell you where he is. He ain't coming. He's never going to play with that guy if he stays in Milwaukee. If Giannis, who's already said championships are the most important thing, if he believes that, he's going to have to leave. Well, JP, you well, want this or you all, want me Max, to go? Let me tell you what. Okay, go ahead. Uh, no, nah, let me get them real quick. First of all, Max, let me tell you where you were wrong, all right? When Golden State beat LeBron James, Kyrie and Kevin Love both were injured. Kyrie got injured in game one. Kevin First Love time. didn't play in that series. When Kyrie and Kevin First Love time. did play, they won. The next time – I'm talking what? about with KD, the Perk, the KD teams. KD, wait, listen, with the KD teams, this is what I'm telling you, Max. Okay, at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. When you look at Giannis, I'm going to go back to the point. When you look at Giannis and you look at the situation that he's in, he's holding the keys. The Milwaukee organization, yes, they may have dropped the ball last year by not bringing Brogdon back, but they're making up to Giannis. You have a new gym. They're building stuff around you. They're, they're, they're listening to your needs. They went out and been, they was aggressive in free agency. They picked up an a all-star type player, a two-way player in Drew Holiday, and you still have an all-star in Chris Middleton, who you love so dearly, and Giannis. You are the defensive player of the year and the MVP. So maybe it's time for you to up your game. Max, you keep talking about giving more or having more. If uh, having a big three like that with an uh, MVP on there is not enough, I don't know what, how much more you could get. And on top of that, listen, he also – Let me tell you how much Milwaukee is catering to Giannis. Not only is his brother sitting on the bench, you know, collecting a check and, and using up a seat – you know, just because his brother is Giannis Antetokounmpo, that, that's one thing. But then on another, think about in the past, guys like the great Shaquille O'Neal, Grant Hill, who all who came back after they retired and said in stories talking about, you know, um, they said if they, the only regrets that they had was leaving their franchises too early and not watching it play out. If that's not enough information for Giannis alongside 
getting 200 and plus million dollars and the organization is catering to you, I don't know what else you need. Here's where I'm coming from, guys. I agree with KP, uh, albeit for some different reasons, but I agree with KP that Giannis is signed. First of all, get your money first. You can always be traded later. Get your money first. Uh, that's number one. Get that Supermax deal. Get that money and go from there. That's number one. Number two, last time I tracked, Drew Holiday is a, is, a, is, a, is a pretty damn good player. Not only did he average 19 a game on 45% shooting, he's one of the elite perimeter defenders in the game. You know, and anybody who's played this game would tell you that. This guy is special on that level. Number three, when you take into account what they tried to do now, if they didn't open their big fat mouths and reveal that essentially they were going to have by Bogdanovich, he'd be there too. So that was a that was a flaw on their part, and there's no excuse for that kind of ineptitude, no doubt about it. But still, when you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, you can make a legitimate argument that right now they're still the number one seed in the East. The bottom line is KD's coming back. As you said, Max, you don't anticipate he'll be 100%. What's he going to be like? You've complained about Kyrie Irving and the kind of cancerous effect you deem he has had on rosters and could potentially have on this roster. So that's a reason not to have Brooklyn elevated, even though I believe Brooklyn is. You have it. So when I look at Milwaukee right now and what Drew Holiday brings to the table on both ends of the floor and the fact that you got him with Giannis at the Cooper and then we're looking at a guy with Middleton. Middleton's got to step up, no question about it. But while we're sitting up here condemning Chris Middleton from time to time, let's remember the guy has averaged, he averaged 20 last year. He's a career 16-point game sh uh, scorer, but he averaged 20 last year, 18 the year before. He shot 45% from the field, 41% from three-point range. He's a career 39% shooter from three-point range and a career 45% shooter. The brother can score and he can play. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.